from this tutorial we will start learning autolips programming in the previous video we have already seen what is autolips and how to use it in this tutorial we are going to cover these topics the first topic is structure of autolips statement in any programming language the syntax for writing the statement is very important as it is a programming language that means you will have to write the statement perfectly in the same way otherwise it will give errors for autolips syntax will always start with left parenthesis you will have to give left parenthesis then you will have to give name of the function so we will step by step learn number of functions that will perform different activities suppose we will take very basic function a sum function for that you will have to give plus sign then give the space left parenthesis then you will have to give the name of the function then that function will perform some activities on some data so after the function name and after giving the space you will have to specify the arguments in the case of sum function argument will be numbers for which we want to make the sum i will give some numbers here you can place as many numbers as you want it will make the sum of all those numbers after you give all the arguments then you will have to give the closing parenthesis that means in each and every autolib statement you will have left parenthesis name of the function then the arguments and closing parenthesis then you will have to press enter so here it is showing me the answer now here what happened autocad has calculated the answer but it has not stored anywhere in programming language you will have to store this data in some variable so for storing data in autolibs you will have to use setqueue function so using setqueue function you can store data at first we will understand how to use the setqueue function so for setqueue function you will have to give left parenthesis then name of the function is setqueue then space then you will have to give the variable name to which you want to store the data now this variable name can be alpha numerical then give the name of the variable suppose i want to store some number so i want to give name as no so my variable name is no this variable name can be alpha numerical it should not contain any special characters and it should not contain any space then suppose i want to store some number into variable no then again give the closing parenthesis that means left parenthesis name of function is set queue then arguments are name of the variable and the data to be stored to the variable and the closing parenthesis then press enter so here 56 number is got stored in variable no we can check that what is the content of this variable no for that you will have to give exclamatory sign and name of the variable and press enter then here you can watch that it has shown that the variable no contained the number 56 same as i want to store the sum that we had done in previous statement you can call the previous data by pressing the up arrow key here again if i want to store this sum then again i will have to give left parenthesis then i will have to give set queue then space then name of the variable suppose variable name is ans then space then value to be stored will be the sum of this number so this statement will remain as it is and at the last i will have to close this set queue function left parenthesis so here again closing parenthesis so you have to close this parenthesis otherwise it will give error then press enter then again to check the content of the variable ans give exclamatory sign give the ans enter so here is the content of ans is 177 then you can use these variables in autocad commands also suppose i want to give the length of the line using that ans variable then i will take the line command give the first point then give the exclamatory sign and name of the variable ans and press enter and press enter then give zoom all z enter a enter now if we check the length of this line by clicking on this measure the length will be 177 that means it is correct so in this way you can use the variable in autocad command also by using exclamatory sign i want to shift this uss icon give uss icon command enter no region 
then suppose I want to create a circle of value store in no variable again I will give circle command give the center point again give exclamatory sign and give no enter so it has created a circle of 56 radius that we have stored previously in no variable so in this way you can use the data store in variable in your AutoCAD command also then there are different data types in AutoLeaves integer is the full number any number without decimal point is integer that you can very easily save it as we saved value in the no variable or value in the ans variable so those were the integer values second data type is real real is a data with decimal point for example suppose i want to store set q weight wt and i want to store suppose 2.03 so this is a real value here in variable wt 2.03 value is store so in this way you can store the real value also in the variable and then next is string value if you want to store some string suppose i want to store again give left parenthesis set q name for string you will have to use the double quotes then write down your string then you will have to close the double quotes and give the closing bracket so for string you will have to give double quotes then write down your string and give closing double quotes and then press enter so here we can check that in the name variable CADCAM tutorials is store in this way you can store the string value 